friends, welcome back. I'm Elizabeth and today is a very special day, St. Patrick's Day. So to begin our exercises for today, we're gonna do a St. Patrick's March warm-up. These exercises are good for kids and adults, so the whole family can join in. And we're gonna be joined by some of our other friends here, mostly animals, but some other creatures as well. I see a leprechaun right here. Check this one out. So we're gonna start a march with this little leprechaun. March, and let's do it for 20, making sure to have your knees up high, just like this. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cool thing about today is that we're gonna go on an animal adventure and be different animals, do different animal movements during our exercises. It should be really fun. So, next thing we're gonna do is the pony is gonna help us skip and gallop like a pony. The cardio will start getting our heart rate up a little bit, which will help warm us up. So it's gonna be just like this. I'll show you the other side. All right, pony is gonna help us skip and gallop. Let's do it for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forgot to tell you. Make sure to keep your arms up and alternate your arms. Let's do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, let's take a little break. And make sure you have some water nearby that you can access during your workout, during the breaks, or at any time you feel like it, or especially after your workout. Next, we're gonna do some lunges. I'll show you what they look like. So make sure to have your knee in front and your toes out in front too. And you, it helps you, you can have your hands on your hips, just like this. Lunges are good with our flexibility and it helps us build really strong leg muscles as well. So let's do 20 of these, so 10 on each side. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Let's take a little break, okay? You know those are kind of hard if you're just starting them. Let's wait a few more seconds, shake it out a little bit. Ten more, all right? We got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Good job. Yeah, that was a hard one, but we did awesome at it. And it'll get easier as time goes on. The next time we try it, it'll be a little bit better. Do you know what time it is? It's time for dance break. All right, which animal wants to go on dance break with us? I think we're gonna pick Pony. Pony's gonna dance with us. Pony dance break. Do, do, do. Do you see the pony wearing any green? No, I just see gray, red, and white on the pony. All right, pony gets pinches. Ah! Okay, all right. Next, we're gonna work on some stretches. And the carrot's gonna help us work on with some stretches. The carrot also squeaks. And the carrot's wearing green, so the carrot doesn't get pinched. So, one thing you might notice about a carrot is that a carrot's pretty straight. And we want to do some stretches where our legs and arms stay straight. So first we're going to do an arm stretch. I'll show you what it's like. Stretching our arm out like this. This arm stays pretty straight. We still want to have a little bit of a bend in our elbow. And then this other arm goes up and then kind of pushes gently the straighter arm towards our chest. Let's hold this for 10 seconds, all right? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, other arm. This arm stays pretty straight, just a little bit of a bend in our elbow. The other arm helps push it slightly to our chest. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing so great with the stretches. Let's keep it up. Let's do an arm stretch over our heads. The way we do this is we put one arm back like this. I'll show you what it looks like. We're gonna touch in our neck really slightly, bent like this. So it looks like this in the front. And then the other arm helps stretch our arm just ever so slightly. So it stretches toward the middle part of our body. So I'm stretching this elbow towards this arm just a little bit using this hand. Let's go for 10 seconds. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do the other side. I'll show you how it looks in the back. So this hand goes right here. And I use this arm. Let's go for 10 seconds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's do some toe touching exercises. So one exercise I like to do is crossover toe touches. It sounds fancy, but it's actually pretty simple. So the way I do this is by standing like this first. So feet just a little bit, um, approximately shoulder width apart. And then I use my right leg to cross over my left leg, just like this, make sure we're balanced. And then I reach down and try to touch my toes. If you can touch your toes, that's great. If not, just try to get closer there each time. Let's hold for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, it's a little tricky the first time. Let's do the other side. So feet like this, and then using my left leg to cross over my right leg. All right, let's reach down and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Sometimes one side is easier than another side. My first side was easier than my second side. That's totally normal. So let's go on to the next exercise. We're done with the stretching warmups for now. We're gonna do some kicks. In addition to cardio and stretching, kicks are great because they can also help us with sports like soccer. And kicks help us with flexibility and help us with general movement as well. We're gonna do 10 kicks on each leg. I'll show you what they look like. We're also gonna touch our opposite arm to our opposite leg and try to kind of reach to the toe. I'll show you what that looks like. It's gonna look like this for this side, and this for the other leg. So it's gonna be my left leg with my right hand, and then right leg with my left hand. Again, it looks like this, like this. We don't have to kick up too high, just really slightly, so it gives us a little bit of a workout. All right, let's do it for 10 each side, and we're gonna do 20 total, so 10 left leg, 10 right leg, alternate the legs. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job doing all these great exercises. All right, now it's time for a little bit of cardio. I see a bear. Grrr. Now we're gonna do some bear walks, all right? Way to do bear walks is 
tie off your hands flat like this, your feet here, back of you, you can have your butt up, and then walk like a bear. We're gonna do 10 steps like a bear. You can do it on the ground, if you have a mat, that's great. If you just have ground, that's good too. So walk like a bear for 10 steps, all right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then turn around. You don't have to turn around, but you can if you want. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. That was pretty fun. I'm gonna do ten more bear walks. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, and around. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. All right, so now that we've done bear walks, you know what the opposite might be? Crab walks. So with crab walks, we still want to have the same points of contact on the ground. We're kind of reversing our body. Let's do 10 crab walks. So I'm gonna use my feet and arms. Don't so look backwards to make sure it's safe. All right, looks like it's clear. We're gonna do 10 crab walks. One, two, three, four, five, turn around, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten more car box. You have to turn around again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you turn around, eight, nine, so, you can also find a way to do faster crab walks, like this, faster crab. Just make sure you're clear behind you. Nice job doing all the crab walks. The bunnies are getting a little lonely, so I think we have to do some bunny hops now. Let's check out the bunnies though. One bunny, two bunnies, three bunnies. Let's do some hops like a bunny. Let's do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, that was a good little warm-up with the bunnies. Now let's do a dance break with the bunnies. Dance around, bunnies. Oh, yeah. Bunnies fly. Ah, I caught them all. That's really impressive, I think. Maybe not super impressive. All right. We're gonna do some one-legged hops like a bunny. I don't know if bunnies hop with one leg, but let's pretend they do. So to do that, I'm gonna start with my right leg. You can start with your left leg if you want. And just make sure the other leg doesn't touch the ground. And just hop up and down like this. You wanna do small hops to begin with. And then if you feel comfortable, you can speed up if you want. So let's start with some small, slow bunny hops low to the ground. Let's do it for 10, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice job. Let's do hops on both legs now. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice shot. Doesn't the hopping on two legs feel a lot easier after doing it on one leg each time? I think it does. Sometimes making a move harder and then making it easier helps our body react and move in different ways and become stronger and healthier. The next exercise we're gonna do is some long sit-ups. I'll show you what they look like. I'm gonna lay down on my butt, have my legs straight out, lay down like this, arms back, I move a little bit here so you can see. It's okay if our feet are off the or not, or if we can just be on ground too. So I'm gonna be almost completely straight, straight like that carrot. And then reach up, and then touch my toes like this. That's one. 
think the puppy can show us how to do this too. So, puppy's gonna lay down, do that long sit up with us, and then reach. Puppy's gonna touch their toes. Good job, puppy. Can you go close? Puppy reaches as the toe touches. Great job, puppy. You can do it too. So again, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you a variation as well. Back, touching my toes. And if this is really hard or you want to try something different, you can have your knees up a little bit. Sit like this on your bottom and then just reach back like this and reach back. So one way for doing it is going up like this for one. But you can also do it with our knees up, feet like this, and just touching here. For one, two, three. Let's do a count of ten. Starting now. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Now we're going to roll over to our stomachs. And let's do a Superman. You saw the last episode, we did some Superman counts, so we're going to do that again. We're going to be on our bellies and then feet out, arms out, and then lift up our feet, lift up our hands for 10 seconds. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's rest for a little bit. And we're going to do 10 more. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we are going to do a seal stretch. So we're going to do that by first driving in our Superman position. Then going up. So our chest is up, holding our hands right below our shoulders and elbows and arching our back and we can all be seals. Does anyone know what sound a seal makes? Arr, arr, arr. Maybe that's a puppy. Alright, stretch for 10 more seconds as a seal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. All right, you can rest. Lie down a little bit. And next, we're going to do a cat stretch. And a cat stretch, we do by starting like this on all fours. And then we kind of reach out like a cat with our hands. Have another arch in our back. And then dipping down, trying to have our chin almost at or touching the ground and then holding this for 10 seconds. Just go slow and gradually to the position. So arching like a cat. What sound does a cat make? You want to have a cat or a seal? Right, let's hold this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. Also have your hands out here. Keep up your fingertips. Out, that helps you hold the position. All right, start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. All right, next shot. Let's go check out our friends. A black cat and a white cat. They're gonna fly. I caught them both again. I think they were impressed by our cat stretches. Great job with everything so far. We've done some really hard exercises. 
and you've done awesome. Now we're gonna do some cross jumping jacks. For these jumping jacks, we don't have to worry about our arms. They're not gonna be like this. They're gonna look more like this. So check out my feet and they're crossing. Just like this. So if you remember the stretch we did before where we kind of touched our toes, we almost touched our toes, just like this. The cross jumping jacks are gonna be really similar to that. We're gonna do these for a count of 20. Starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. Remember, if you have water nearby, make sure to get a water break whenever you need it. I'm gonna get some water right now. That was refreshing. I'm gonna put the water back down. And now we're gonna do some cool down exercises. So we can sit down for this. Sit down with your legs like this if you have a lunge, or you can sit cross-legged. And then we're gonna do some shoulder rolls just like this. Good shoulders to cool down for 10. Ready? Go. One, two, three, shoulders forward, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten with shoulders back. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. And for this, we're gonna stand up and then do some knee circles for ten. Just like this, or like this. So first counterclockwise and then clockwise for 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 10 clockwise. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna do 10 ankle lifts just like this. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just a few more things, then we'll be done with the exercise section today. So we're gonna have our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, arms to our sides, and then lift your arms up, stretch, stretch to one side like this, stretch to the other side like this, stretch out through the middle and out like this, and slowly down, try to touch your toes, Hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Lift back up. Great job today, everyone. And I wanted to share a virtual medal with you all. It's a clover. It's green and gold for St. Patrick's Day. Hope everyone had a great workout and is having a great St. Patrick's Day. Or if it's not St. Patrick's Day, a great day wherever you are. Thanks so much for joining me on this warm up and hope to see you next time. Bye friends.